fluorocarbon and specifically fluorocarbon mainline has a mixed reputation. I'm a massive fan, I don't quite understand why people have doubts. Um, the benefits of it are just that it's heavy. Forget all about the rest of it. It's a totally different molecular structure to copolymer. It's going to behave differently, it's going to cast differently. But what are its strengths? Beyond a shadow of a doubt, its greatest strength is the fact that it sinks so well. It's a little bit stiffer, doesn't cast so well, but that's nothing to do with the stiffness. It's the weight of the stuff being, I think it's about 1.4%, 1.4 times the density of water. So if you set your bobbins right and you allow it to sink down correctly and choose your circumstances, you're going to catch more fish if you have a set of spools with fluorocarbon on. I use it all the time down here at the moment, specifically in this swim at the, at the moment because we've got a deep channel to an island. I know the fluorocarbon is not going to be across the midwater, it's down on the bottom inconspicuously out the way. So these pressured fish for carp will come around the corner, up the island margin, never know they're being fished for. And if I can get that one little p improvement in my angling through having a set of spools with fluorocarbon on, I will all day, every day. It's not that different to use to normal line. You just have to know the right circumstances. It's not that good over real high weed beds because what you find is particulate attaches to the line and it becomes very visible. Again, it's not being given the opportunity to sink. So I'll fish it with very slack lines, um, allow it to settle down if the bobbins tighten up every so, every so often, I'll feed a little bit more out and that way you're maximising the benefits from the weight of the material. It's a little bit different to knot, uh, for consistency specifically I find that a tucked blood knot's probably the best. Um, other people prefer grinners, other people prefer palomars, it's just in my own testing um, a tucked comes up consistently, you don't get a knot that just pops for no reason, whether that's going onto a leader or whether you're putting onto a swivel. Short of that, it's just not a compromise, it's making the most out of getting your line down so that the fish aren't aware it's there and if the fish aren't aware that they're being fished for by you, they'll be more relaxed and more inclined to feed the perfect scenario to catch them.